Thank you, Lauren, that was beautiful. And with that, I would like to welcome everyone to the annual Riley Cheer Guild Luncheon and Tea Party. I'm so happy you could all join us today for this virtual event. It's a first. We wanted to continue to honor our members. Even though we're not able to physically be together, we can still enjoy one another. And I can see as everyone has joined, we have some interesting hats and some fun hats. So thank you for participating. I can't think of a more appropriate theme, uh, especially during these times than a Mad Hatter tea party. Can everyone raise their favorite mug or cup or glass and enjoy a bite of your scone and let's get this party started. Yay! Glad to see everyone. Great, great. Okay, so um, we sincerely thank you again for joining us and your willingness to explore this platform with us. We hope that next year we're able to see all of you in person. Now with that said, I now uh, call this meeting to order. If you will, please join me in repeating the auxiliary prayer and the mission. You've all got the program. Here we Almighty God and Heavenly Father of mankind, bless we pray thee our endeavors in those hospitals in which we strive to bring comfort and hope to all who are distressed of mind or body or spirit. Guide us so that we may use the privilege given to us to help the aged, the ill, and the very young with generosity, with discretion, and with gentleness. Give us strength to labor diligently, the courage to think, and to speak with clarity and conviction, but without prejudice or pride. Give us strength to labor diligently, the courage to think, and to speak with clarity and conviction and pride. Grant us, we beseech thee, both wisdom and humility in directing our united efforts to do for others only as thou would have us do. Amen. The mission of the Right Cheer Guild shall be to support hospital programs that enhance the experience of a hospital stay for patients and their caregivers while at one of the hospitals we serve. And now, Ann Hannon, our lovely director, will take us on a tour of the Riley Cheer Guild website. Ann? Hello and welcome. We are so glad that you are here with us today. And many of you have been with us for many years and we're gonna find out exactly how many years you've each been with us a little while later. But we would like to take just a moment to show you all of the great information that you can find about the Riley Cheer Guild on our website. So we made it really easy for you and our website is rileycheerguild.org. When you come to the main page, you'll have an opportunity to choose what you would like to do and what you would like to learn. You'll notice right here at the top, we have an advertisement for our silent auction, which is going on right now. If you have not signed up to take a look at all of the fantastic things that are happening 
for our silent auction, please do that. This is also the place you'll come back to learn more about our uh, concert that's in one week where those of you that have been with us for a couple of years, you'll get to see our favorite musicians, Johnny's Cougar. So when you first come to this page, you can actually scroll down and learn just a little bit about the general things that we do here with the Riley Cheer Guild. This is a great button to click if you're not really sure where you wanna go and what information you wanna find. This is the how to help. As soon as you go here, there's an opportunity for you to go to any of the different informational pages, such as donating items, financial donations, becoming a member like all of you are, and when we get through our COVID pandemic, an opportunity to volunteer in the hospital if you are interested. Along the top, there are also some quick ways to get to more information. One is clicking for membership. In addition to being able to join as an individual member or a chapter member, you can also see our most recent newsletters listed here in a flip snack format so that you can flip through and stay, stay contacted with all of the information that is going on right now. In addition, as many of you know, and you'll hear more about as we move along, our three primary programs that we support and have funds for are the Toy Room, Complete Life, and Music Therapy. Here's some additional information about them. And then also in our newsletter, two newsletters ago, you may remember that we have also started a pediatric dance movement therapy program with donations from the Rizzo Foundation, and you can learn more about that here as well. If you are interested in seeing what's up in our gift shops, we have a whole page dedicated to our gift shop program. And you can also, if you know someone in one of our hospitals, can send them a gift by calling one of those shops and having it delivered directly to them. Here's our very important page. This is our wish list. This is the things we need. This is anybody who asks you as a member of the Riley Cheer Guild, how can we help? This is the best way to show them how they can help. And then finally, of course, the opportunity to donate to the Toy Room, Riley Music Therapy, our Complete Life Program over at University and Simon Cancer Center, or our General Fund. We hope you'll take some time to visit our site. We give updated information on a regular basis, so we would love to see you out here whenever you're looking for more information. So I'm gonna turn it back over to our secretary, D. Banta, and she is going to take us on to the next part of our program. Take it away, D. Mute. Sorry about that. I was muted. Are we good now? Okay, so welcome everyone. So glad you could join us. I'd like you um, to join me in recognizing your um, Riley Cheer Guild board members. They are listed on your screen and they are also in your invitation packet. Please take special note of the ones that have an asterisk next to their name. They are either new to the board, like me, or they will be renewing their pledge of service in just a little bit. I would like to present the following board members, Stephen Schnelker, Michelle Wagner, Kat Chorba, and myself as the slate of officers that has been recommended by the nominating committee and will be voted on in a little bit. Stephen and Michelle and Kat, if you will unmute, um, say hi to our guests, introduce yourself, and um, we'll get a name and a face together for them. Okay, I'll go ahead and start. Dee Banta, I will, am slated to be the secretary of the board. Stephen? Hi, I'm Stephen. I've been on the uh, board since uh, 2014 uh, in the treasurer position, and I look forward to uh, continuing on if I'm so lucky to be voted in. Kat? I'm Kat Chorba, and I've been on the board since 2010, and I represent Tri Kappa, and happy to see everyone here today. And Michelle. Hi everyone, Michelle Wagner. I was the uh, marketing chair um, 
until last year and switched over to fundraising. And I also look forward to renewing to be the uh, chair for the fundraising. Wonderful, thank you all, thank you. I would ask for a motion for the floor, from the floor, um, to accept this recommendation from our nominating committee to accept this slate of officers. If you would be interested in making this motion, please unmute yourself and state your name. I'm Mary Ann Berger, and I make a motion that we accept this uh, nomination board. Thank you, Mary Ann. Do we have a second? Could you also I'll unmute second. and state your name? R Ruth Williams, can you hear me? I'll second. Thank you, Ruth. We appreciate that. So the motion has been made and seconded to accept the slate of officers as recommended by our nominating committee and which will be voted on by the membership today. Is there any discussion? Okay, I'm scrolling through faces here. There being no discussion, then we will move for a vote. All those in favor of accepting the slate of officers as recommended, give a thumbs up in front of your camera and hold it there so that we can tabulate those votes. All right, we have the votes. You can move on, Dee. Thank you very much. Okay, those opposed? Do a thumbs down in front of your camera and keep it there until we can tabulate those votes. Okay, they have been tabulated. The motion passes. Oh, wonderful. Motion is passed and I congratulate those who have been nominated and voted in. And Stephen and Michelle and Kat, if you will unmute again, we will go ahead with the installation. Do you promise to serve the Riley Cheer Guild members, board, staff, and the patients and family of Riley University and Simon Cancer Center in the role to the best of your ability? Please respond, I do. I do. I do. Do you promise to positively represent the Riley Cheer Guild in the community to your friends and family and acquaintances and colleagues to spread the mission of enhancing the hospital experience for those we serve? Please answer, I do. I do. I do. As you have promised these things, we welcome you to your new and continued positions. Congratulations, everyone. Thank and you. now I'll turn it back over to our lovely president, Christy Lockett. Thank you, Dee. This is certainly a new experience for all of us, so I ask for your patience as well. Just to uh, give you a little bit more information, did you know that the Ronnie Cheer Guild has been hosting a breakfast or a luncheon or a tea party since 1927? That's 93 years. 93 years, we have honored membership, chapters, and founders, all of these with a common thread, that none of our work is possible with our, without our members and your generosity of time and service. The James Whitcomb Riley Hospital for Children was dedicated on October 7, 1924, the birth date of James Whitcomb Riley, Friends of the Hoosier Poet wanted to honor his memory with a tribute that was worthy of his much-loved poetry that celebrated childhood. Riley Hospital is coming up on 96 years of age and what a history to be a part of. Mary Emma Porter was moved by the idea that something was needed to cheer the children and at April of 1924 in the the hospital wasn't even open until November, but when they did, they had a toy room full of toys, a library, and scrapbook materials in place ready to go. The guild was even there to greet patients, families, as they walked through the front doors the day they opened. The Ronnie Cheer Guild was established by women 
of like minds looking to serve others in their time of need, something we continue to do every single day. The first Riley Cheer Guild gift shop opened at University Hospital in 1974. Later, we expanded our services to include the managing of all the gift shops downtown and most recently at IU North. The gift shops account for approximately 60% of the total income for the Riley Cheer Guild. Currently, the guild operates nine gift shops. One at University, three at Riley, one at IU Simon Cancer Center, two at Methodist, and two at IU North. Funding for the music therapy at Riley Hospital has been provided by the Cheer Guild since 2000, with an increase from one to four music therapist positions since the music program inception. Three music therapy positions cover all inpatient uh, areas. Therapists are board certified and have completed bachelor's or master's degrees in music therapy with advanced training specific to the pediatrics medical setting. Music therapy can pro provide pathways to improve physiological behavior and psychophysiological functioning. Music therapy can support patients and families' abilities to endure, manage, or overcome stressors. Patients and families' abilities to endure and be resilient by, resilient by using music to build coping skills. Families bond together through music despite medical stressors and live, live music therapy techniques can decrease pain or psychological distress. We have some fantastic music therapists that do an amazing job with our patients and families. We've been very blessed. Did you know that Ann Hannon, our director, started her career at Riley as a music therapist? We have been blessed to have such a talented and dedicated cheer guild director. Anne and her team are the face of the guild. We have been fortunate to find people who truly embody the spirit of the guild. Anne herself is celebrating 20 years of service with Riley. And I think we need to give her a hand and thank her very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. It's very exciting. Great. The Toy Room is one of the Guild's top programs. All donated items are screened and prepared by volunteers for distribution. Today, the Guild distributes over, I want you to hear this, 10,000 gifts per month. Wow, that's a lot. I'm sure you're familiar with our logo. In fact, it's actually on your placemat that Dee Banta designed for us. On the tea bag. Our logo was designed by Kathy Manitich while she was a student at IUPUI and an employee of one of our gift shops. Each part of the logo has special meaning. The box represents the giving nature of the guild. The bow meaning unity that holds this unique group together and the heart which symbolizes care. She wanted to create a new, lasting visual identity, which represented the personality of the cheer guild, a true gift of love. You can't build a framework on which to base your life without understanding how things work in the world. History paints us a detailed picture of how things were years ago and allows us to have a firm foundation upon which to build our future. Our heritage helps us examine our history and enables us to have to develop an awareness of ourselves and it also helps explain why we are the way we are. My mom used to say, I would find myself through service to others. That service would fill my heart and make me whole. I think she was right. And with that, I will now turn this program over to Kat Chorba. Good morning all. I am proud to have the opportunity today to recognize our members and our chapters. We are so very grateful that so many of you have taken the time to join us in this very different format. With our limited virtual tea time, we have chosen to share our longest standing chapters in each of the four categories today. 
The four chapter types include Trikappa, Extension Homemakers, Philanthropic, and Church Chapters. Trikappa is connected through the Trikappa State Organization to support the efforts of the Riley Cheer Guild. The Extension Homemakers are connected through IEHA to share their creativity through handmade items for the patients to take home. Philanthropic chapters are connected through a shared desire to serve, and the church chapters are connected through a faith organization to support the Riley Cheer Guild. Originally, each chapter chose a Cheer Guild chapter name that was reflective of a line of poetry from James Whitcomb Riley. As we honor our longest standing chapters today, I will note those historical names as well as the current ones. We currently have 151 Tri Kappa chapters, and our longest standing chapter is the Green Castle Beta Psi chapter of Tri Kappa. They were originally called Dot Little Boy. They've been a member since 1925. If you are here today representing this chapter, please unmute yourself and say hello. We currently have 10 extension homemakers chapters and our longest standing chapter is the Dive Home Demonstration Club. They were originally called Curly Locks. They've been a member since 1936. If you're here today representing this chapter, would you please unmute yourself and say hello. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Now we currently have six philanthropic chapters and our longest standing chapter is the Christian Liberty Church Ladies Aid. They were originally called Pansies. They've been a member since 1941. If you're here today representing this chapter, please unmute yourself and say hello. And we currently have two church chapters. Our longest standing chapter is the Selma Women's Club. They were originally called the Song of Singing. They've been a member since 1945. If you're here representing this chapter today, please unmute yourself and say hello. Would you please all join me in a round of applause for these chapters and all the chapters and individual members we have supporting the Riley Cheer Guild. I'll now turn the program back over to Anne. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We are just so thrilled that you all took the time to join us today. And many of you, as you interact with us throughout the years, have gotten to know some of the members of our office staff, whether you've met us to drop items off or you've called us on the phone. And so my office staff is a little bit shy and I didn't want them to have to record videos or come on and talk to you directly, but they were more than happy to tell me how they feel about you. So first we have Macaulay, our gift shop manager of operations, and it makes him smile when the members and volunteers call just to check on us and make sure that everything is going okay. Their dedication to the Riley Cheer Guild is what keeps me going. Denise is continually amazed by the generosity and kindness of our members. Every time Denise speaks to someone, opens an email, 
opens the mail to see a contribution, she smiles at the selflessness and dedication of so many people throughout the state. Linda, uh, and oh, and I did not mention that Denise is actually our project coordinator. And so she basically does a little bit of everything for us. Linda is our administrative assistant and she loves the kind and giving hearts of our members and how they care about the kids at Riley. One of her favorite things about her job is processing the membership and chapter renewals. I enjoy learning about all the different towns our members come from. And I will tell you, if you send a letter, a note, a picture, we all get to see it. Linda makes sure to keep all of us engaged and knowing what's going on. And last but not least, we have Kyra, who is our gift shop project coordinator. And she shares that donations and support from our members help us to better serve patients and their families within the hospital and the gift shops. Thank you so much from the office staff to all of our members. So I didn't write a message because I knew that I would get to tell you all how much I love being a part of the Riley Cheer Guild. As Christy mentioned, I just celebrated my 20th anniversary a couple of weeks ago. And so I have been a part of the Riley Cheer Guild since the day I walked through the door for my interview. And I had two of our toy room chairpersons at the time were actually part of that interview process. And I've been engaged and enthralled by the Guild ever since as a music therapist and coming through as a Riley mom and receiving gifts not only for my son who was here as a newborn but also his brother and things to take care of us as parents and my parents and my husband's parents as grandparents. So the Riley Cheer Guild has a long-lasting legacy of just providing that extra special touch to the patients and the families and to each other. So again from the bottom of my heart you know the luncheon is one of my favorite days of the year so I am very sad to not be with you but glad that we were able to just spend this little bit of time together. So next I have something very special to share with you because most of you that have attended one of our luncheons in person know that we frequently hear from our amazing music therapy team. So they've put together a little video for you this year. So just sit back, take another sip of your tea, another bite of your scone, and enjoy this special gift video from our music therapy team. I see a few people clapping their hands and just know that um, most of our music therapists are on here with us today and they are just so grateful for all of the work and engagement that you 
you all do to make all of these programs possible. And they have the creativity and talent to do something very special for us. So thank you, Music Therapy Team, for putting that together and writing us a new song. And if you'd like to put in the chat that you know where that song came from and which song they rewrote lyrics to, um, then you can do that too. And we'll just, we'll see how up you are on, on current music. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is also, you know, I joke that I, all of these are my favorite part, but you know, I have to say which ones are my favorite part. And one of the things that I really enjoy so very much about this is that in addition to honoring our chapters, we get to give some really special awards. So I am honored to move on to our award process. And for those of you that have your invitation packet with you, there's a deeper description of each of these awards in your packet. So I, um, I encourage you to take a look at that and um, be, able to, be able to learn a little bit more about that. So the first award is actually named for our founder. This is Andrew J. Porter. This is Andrew J. Porter. This recipient represents Mrs. Porter through her continuous involvement with the Riley Cheer Guild, chapters, members, staff, and board. She advocates for philanthropy throughout the state of Indiana. She keeps the information organized and is a cheerleader for all who desire to support the Guild. I welcome you to please help me congratulate Donna Gates, the state philanthropy chair, for Tri Kappa as this year's recipient for the Mrs. Andrew J. Porter Award. Donna, will you please unmute yourself and say hello so that people know who you are? Oh my gosh. I'm in shock <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> well, wow. You bring <laughs> tears to my eyes. <laughs> well, Donna, Thank we you. are so Thank you for the so grateful for the work that you've done for the last year and a half, and we know that um, you will be finishing up your philanthropy position in 2021 at your biannual convention, and so we will be sending you a memento of this award in the mail. And just thank you so much for the work that you do and supporting all of the Tri Kappas as members and chapters of our organization. Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. So our next award is the Heartstrings Award. This recipient gives of herself as an employee of IU Health, an ex officio board member, and a volunteer at all of our Riley Cheer Guild events. She keeps in-hospital volunteers connected to the mission of Riley Cheer Guild and spreads her love and affection for the Riley Cheer Guild to all hospital volunteers, her friends, her colleagues, and her very own family. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Heartstrings Award, Susan Schwarz. Susan, please unmute yourself and say hello. I can't. <laughs> this is sort of a shock. <laughs> Thank you so much. The Guild means so much to me because I appreciate all the work all of you do and all of your dedication. And I don't have any, I'm usually not speechless, but I sort of am now, so thank you. Thank you so much, Susan, congratulations. And you know, we don't wanna bring tears because we're the cheer guild, um, but to make Susan speechless, I think we did just exactly the same <laughs> thing this year. So Susan, it is absolutely well-deserved and it was a unanimous choice among our board. So thank you so much for everything that you do to support us. You are boots on the ground and we appreciate everything that you do. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, so we will move on to our next award. And I am actually going to toss this over to Christy Luckett. So Christy, if you will please, um, please present this next award. Sure. Um, this fella um, has been a great support to me. Uh, the recipient was support, who supports the president with his continued advisement to the board as past president and now as current financial advisor. His positive nature, responsiveness, and love for the Guild has made the current president, my transition, a great success. 
So with that, I would like to introduce the new President's Award winner for this year is Dean Wesley. Are you with us, Dean? It looks like Dean was not able to join us today, but we will make sure that he gets his award. And um, he is also always extremely gracious. So we know he would have had kind words to say about the Guild in that time. So thank you very much, Christy. We have one last award um, for today, and I'm not sure if this gentleman is able to join us today or not either, but a few years ago, we started wanting to be able to recognize our business partners. So these are individuals and businesses in the community that through the actual work that they do, they support and further the mission of the Riley Cheer Guild. This recipient has chosen the Riley Cheer Guild to be the annual recipient of his personal and professional fundraiser. In addition, he engages local chapter members in his area in the annual presentation of the proceeds and advocates for the Riley Cheer Guild through this outreach. In fact, even prior to knowing that he won this business partner award, he had already decided to add a second fundraiser for the Riley Cheer Guild, and that is going on right now as we speak. And this is Mark Olson with R&B Car Company from Warsaw, Indiana. Mark, are you here with us today? If you are, please unmute yourself and say hello. All right, well, we really appreciate the opportunity to acknowledge these members. If you're interested in learning more about these awards, you can refer back to your invitation packet where we did include a list of past recipients and many of them are on this call today. So we have a lot of support and longevity for all of our, um, our awards and our members and they stay on with us. So we appreciate that. All right, so we are going to move on to just a little bit of fun. So for those of you that attend a um, our luncheon in person, you know you typically get a ticket and there are all kinds of prizes. This is very difficult to do virtually, but we're gonna try just a little something. So we would like to see who our longest member participant is. So this is for individual members. So who on this call has been a member of the Riley Cheer Guild for the longest amount of time? So what we're going to do is you're all members or you might be guests of members, but we want you to raise your hand if you are a member of the Riley Cheer Guild. All right, and keep your hands up. If you need to put your hand right in front of your face so that we can see you, you can do that. If you are not wanting to show yourself on video and you know how to use the raise hand feature on Zoom, you're welcome to do that as well. All right, so keep your hands up. So how many people have been a member for more than two years? Keep your hand up if you have been a member for more than two years. All right, I see, great, I see some clappings, I see some thumbs, that's awesome. How many of you have been a member for more than five years? Keep your hands up if you've been a member for more than five years. All right, am I still, I'm still seeing some hands up, excellent. How many of you have been a member for more than eight years? Okay, and thank you for those of you that are waving your hand so that I can see. All right, so, all right, how many for more than 10 years? Do we have any that have been with us for more than 10 years? Yes, we do. All right, I'm gonna jump all the way to 15. How many have been a member for at least 15 years? Oh my goodness, we still have some hands up there. All right, how about 17 years? How many have been a member for 17 years? I think we still have two hands up. Uh, we've got three hands up. So I am going to invite Ruth Williams and Karen Tromme and Nancy Prue to please unmute yourselves and tell us how many years you have been a member of the Riley Cheer Guild. Uh, this is Ruth and I think it was 2000. Okay, 
So 20 years Ruth has been a member. Karen, how long? As long as you've been there, babe. Yep. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, this is my mom. <laughs> And she, she is one of our out-of-state members um, and has been a Cheer Guild donor since we started here at the hospital. And then Nancy Joe Prue, how long have you been a member? I joined in 1997, so <gasps> 23 years. Congratulations. So Nancy, <laughs> you are our winner of a oh. beautiful Riley Cheer Guild mug. All right set of Riley Cheer Guild pens and so we will be sending you the address on your membership and you should get that within the next week so thank you so much for your years thank of membership you. we really appreciate the time that you have spent with us during the years and then thank you. are you also a I'm, member of a chapter yes our chapter is unknown friends Northwest Jefferson Extension homemakers and I was the first homemaker chapter chair on the board 1997 that's when the extension homemakers joined riley cheer guild wonderful well congratulations and we really do appreciate all of the support that we've received from our extension homemakers club over the years so thank you and congratulations we will be sending that over to you like i said this week so we wanted to do just thank you fun door, door prize and it's kind of hard to interact so I had our oh sorry I'm you know what there we go let's get back I'm trying to find your faces there we go okay so our vice president of operations is the liaison between Riley Hospital for Children and the Riley Cheer Guild and so Carrie Lar, will you unmute yourself and just say hello Hello, everyone. Uh, as Ann said, I'm Carrie Lar. I get the privilege to be the liaison um, with all of you and um, be astonished by the amazing work that you do um, every day. You know, I see the toy room on a regular basis, but when Ann said, or uh, I guess Christy said it, 10,000 toys per month, um, you know, it's remarkable, and it's not just the toys, but it's remarkable what, as a community, you all do for everyone um, that embarks within Riley, because team members having the opportunity to share those gifts, as Anne so eloquently said, about parents and siblings and everyone. So um, thank you for everything that you do throughout the year um, to make the Riley experience what it is. So, Carrie, I asked you this morning to choose a letter of the alphabet, and we're going to tell people why. Can you please tell us what the letter of the alphabet is that you chose this morning? I chose letter C. Okay, so I have had my handy-dandy fancy Denise, project coordinator, look through the list of individuals who are participating right now and choose the name that starts with the letter C. And she has chosen the winner of our second door prize, and that is Cindy. Now, Cindy is not listed with a last name. So, Cindy, could you please unmute yourself and introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Cindy Turner. And I'm with the Curly Locks group, the Dive <gasps> Extension Homemakers. And um, anyway, I'm probably the baby of the group and all the ones that joined many years ago probably have all passed away by now. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's an honor to uh, be participating with the group. And uh, anyway, I live in Bedford, Indiana. Well, thank you so much, Cindy, and what a fitting tribute, and see, we didn't know who was going to join today, so we didn't know who was going to win this, and we're just really proud that one of our winning chapters member who was here with us today and longest standing, and you will also be receiving one of these beautiful Riley Cheer Guild mugs in the mail, and we will make sure that we have the proper address to send that. Okay. To. So thank you so much, Cindy. We really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. 
So, uh, so you know, we just we wanted to have a little bit of fun and just engage in a little bit of a different way during this virtual time, which many of you are spending the majority of your day online. And so we do appreciate you coming to do something a little bit fun. And so um, before we close out today and have some final thoughts and comments from our uh, from our board president, wanted to remind you of a couple of things that are going on right now, and that is our silent auction. This is how we raise additional funds and just raise awareness in the community about music therapy. So if you have an opportunity to log in or go over and visit the RileyCheerGuild.org page that we showed you at the beginning and you can click there's a link right there you register with um, you put a credit card in but the credit card is not used unless you make a donation or you bid on something and win and you can look at all the wonderful items that are there and that are available and then also on October 1st so a week from today at 7 30 if you join us on Facebook live you'll get to see a video concert that has been put together by our friends Johnny Spooker. It'll have stories about the music therapy program and just wonderful information and cameos from people who have been involved with that program. And we are also celebrating 20 years of the program this year, so that'll be a lot of fun. That is free. You can send that link to anyone. It is family friendly. It's something that you can join right from the comfort of your own home. So we just appreciate you. And um, one thing I would like to do, if Christy doesn't mind before she does the closing, is if you have not had a chance to introduce yourself and you are a member of our board or a past board member, will you please just unmute, raise your hand and I'll call on you and then you can introduce yourself because there are quite a few former and um, current board members on this call that I want to make sure that people who are joining us are familiar with. So. All right, so um, we'll start with Becky. Hi, I'm Becky Meyer. I'm the church chair, and I want to just say something. This was a wonderful tea party today. I think it's outstanding, and give yourselves a big pat on the back. Thank you. Ruth Williams. Yes, hello, everyone. <laughs> Glad to be with you. And Ruth, you've had a couple different roles on our board. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, well, I've been president, and then I served quite a while in a position that I don't think they have anymore, which was um, sort of uh, event chairman for like the 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 uh, luncheon and other things that went on, and I did that for quite a few years. So those of you that have received. Um centerpieces from luncheons over the last 15 years or so most likely those were made by Ruth and her committee so there are some there are some beautiful Riley Cheer Guild luncheon centerpieces across the state of Indiana being displayed in homes so Marianne I know you made a motion but will you unmute and tell people who you are I'm Marianne Ripberger from uh, Ossian Indiana and I represent the IEHA Wonderful. Thank you so much for your service, Mary Ann. And how, how exciting that one of your chapters had two winners today during the luncheon. Very All right, this rewarding. Screens over. And let's see, Letitia, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Letitia Cook, and I have been on the board since 2007. No, that's not right. 2017. Um, and I became involved after I became a Riley mom when my daughter got injured at gymnastics. And Letitia started with her family doing um, toy drives and fundraisers for the toy room and then became a member of our board. So, so many people that are on this, on this call today have a personal connection to Riley. So we really appreciate that. Let's see. I see... The faces, you know, the faces move around. Sarah Barnett, will you please introduce yourself and tell how you are connected to our guild? Hello, I'm Sarah Barnett. I am connected to the guild. I've um, been a member, I can't remember when I joined. I moved here from Florida in 2009, so maybe back then, but I don't exactly remember. I'm currently um, ex officio member on the board. For sure, the cheer guild is my favorite hospital auxiliary in the world. Um, when I came here, I remember saying like, 
where have you been all my life? Um, you guys are amazing in all that you do. Um, can't believe that uh, the output that you give each and every year is tremendous. Um, some of my friends have gone to the hospitals and said, we need something like the Cheer Guild in California or Texas or New Jersey. So many people, Anne has been gracious with meeting with them and trying to help them understand how to set up something like this. You guys are um, true trailblazers. So thank you for all that you do. Love you guys. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. We really appreciate that. John Meyer, will you unmute yourself and introduce, please? John Meyer, I'm the vice president currently. I just want to say thanks for doing this. You guys do an excellent job every time. Every year I get goosebumps. Just think of thinking about the fact that this organization has been around for 96 years. As we were looking at those black and white pictures, it's been around because of all of us. So just a big thank you to everyone for what you do and every single role that everyone plays on this luncheon is crucial. So just thank you. It's emotional for me every, every year and I, I wouldn't be serving any other place. Thank you so much, John. I really appreciate it. So we have a few other special guests who are linked directly to the Guild. And I mentioned that several members of our music therapy team are on the call today. We also have members of our Complete Life program, which is the program at University and Simon Cancer Center. So there, Adam Perry, go ahead and unmute yourself and wave. Hi, everybody. Great to be here. So Adam is one of our music therapists. And then Heidi, if you're still on, will you unmute yourself and wave and introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for including me. I absolutely love this each year. I'm so excited that it became virtual, so this can still happen. Um, I appreciate you including me in this, and it's such a pleasure to work alongside Riley and um, over at Simon and University Hospital as an art therapist. Wonderful. Thank you, Heidi. And Lindsay Siswerda is the program coordinator for the Complete Program, Complete Life Program, and is joining us today as well. Lindsay, if you would like to say hello. Hi everyone, this is Lindsay. Thank you so much for your participation, continued support and extension um, with music and art therapy here at our, with our adult patient population. Um, certainly bring cheer to those who are um, dealing with chronic and acute issues here at the hospital. So thank you and, and it's always such a pleasure and positive vibes when we're interacting with cheer guild members and supporters, so thank you. Thank you so much, Lindsay. So I would also like to introduce Donna Fisher from the Riley Children's Foundation. She partners with us on donors across the state that are interested in supporting the toy room. So Donna, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, Anne. I don't know that I'm quite dressed for a tea party. Working from home <laughs> has, uh, some days are just lazy days in the clothing department. And <laughs> but, but thank you guys. No, it's a great partnership. And I know my colleague, Amber, who's on this call, uh, loves working with Tricapa and your group. But thanks for the invite. You guys have done a great job. Very well done. Thank you so much. And Amber, you were next on my list. So um, I have had the, the beautiful opportunity during the last four years to partner with Amber in a variety of different ways, but um, our greatest achievement is getting to spend time with the Tri Kappa women across the state of Indiana. So Amber, introduce yourself. I am Amber Miller. Um, good job, Donna. Donna, that award was so well-deserved. She really has just been a pleasure to work with um, and so organized with Tri Kappa. It's just been a, been a blessing to work with, but um, my family has also benefited from the Cheer Guild as my daughter is um, a Riley kid and has been inpatient three different times. And um, the last visit, she got a Melissa and Doug puzzle that she plays with every single day. And it makes me think of the hard work that all of you do. And I'm just beyond grateful for it because those toys and those little things have made a huge difference in our stays. Um, and I just am so passionate about all the work you do and couldn't be more grateful. So thank you. Thank you so much, Amber. And also from the Riley Children's Foundation, we have CEO Liz Elkus. So Liz, would you like to introduce yourself to our group and board? Sure. Thank you so much, Anne. It's a delight to be here and to learn more about your work. 
what I feel from this meeting is you all have such big hearts for Riley kids and that says so much. So thank you. Keep up your wonderful work. And Anne, it's been a delight to get to know you in this my first year at Riley Children's Foundation. Thank you. Thank you so much, Liz. So thank you to everyone who's been on the call today. And um, we had a little bit of extra time. So I appreciate this opportunity to make this just a little bit more personalized. So I am going to toss this back over to Christy and she is going to take us on out. And for those of you that would like to be able to share that thank you video, we it is on YouTube. We didn't make it public until today. And so I will switch that over to public and you'll be able to see that thank you video um, from the music therapy team. So Christy, take us away. Thank you, Ann. Um, and also, um, although I didn't, my son was not a part of Riley, uh, we spent a lot of time at Post Sarah's with my son. And, uh, so this, this work that we do is very important to me and dear to me. And I just want to take a minute and um, excuse me if I get emotional. Um, it's been an emotional few months for me and um, I love what we do here. You are proof as volunteers, people who don't want to be thanked for helping others, but want to thank others for giving them the opportunity to help. You are a ray of hope for those whose lives are plunged into darkness of despair from a diagnosis or an unexpected accident. Many of you are parents of variety kids, and because of your experience during that time, you are driven to give back. This guild has been built on the values of volunteers, members like yourselves, people wanting to help. If you take a moment and look around at all these different faces, you will find we all look different, but we all want to serve. You may make blankets or pillows. You may volunteer your time in the toy room. You may collect money to give as a gift. You may shop our Amazon wish list. All of you could have easily taken your efforts, your efforts elsewhere, but you didn't. Each of you have chosen to be a part of something bigger than yourselves, something that will impact the life of a child or their family forever in a time of fear and uncertainty. You make a difference. And for that, we are forever grateful and blessed. And now, as we all return to our lives and continue about our day, please know you are deeply appreciated. No gift is too small, no act too insignificant. Our staff thanks you, our therapists thank you, and I thank you. We are so happy you were able to join us today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out or call. It's with love and laughter we serve. This meeting is now adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate you joining us today. And I will go ahead and leave you with the video again if you would like to watch the song one more time. And we look forward to the time that we can see you all in person. Take care.
over 20 awesome years of music for the kids. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for believing in its healing power. The Riley Cheer Guild is the best guild. The Riley Cheer Guild is the best guild. The Riley Cheer Guild is the best guild. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. And thanks to everyone for your kind words in the chat.